Okay, so today's lesson, we are looking at dividing complex numbers. So a regular complex numbers division question will look as it has all of our fractions and most of our algebraic division as well, very similar. So we could have something, a real part saying three plus two i, and that's all divided by four minus three i. Okay, now one of the parts of division here um, that's super important is our complex conjugate. Conjugate. So the complex conjugate we've met before, and when you're asked to find the complex conjugate of anything, the rule is that you change the sign of the imaginary part. So say if I was given the complex number 3 plus 2i, and I was told z is equal to 3 plus 2i, and if I was asked to find the complex conjugate of z, it would be z with a little stroke on top. And so the complex conjugate of z in this point is if I change the sign of the imaginary part, this is my real part, so 3, the normal number 3, but here I have 2i, which is the imaginary part. So if I change that, the complex conjugate would be 3 minus 2i. We've met that before, but this is going to play a part in our division. So moving back over here, I have the question 3 plus 2i all divided by 4 minus 3i. And how we do this, guys, is what we're going to do is I'm going to rewrite the question a little bit further down. And what I do from here on is I actually multiply above and below this complex number division by the complex conjugate of the bottom. So I can see the complex number on the bottom is 4 minus 3i and I'm going to find the complex conjugate of that which if I change the sign of the imaginary part would be 4 plus 3i. And what I do is I actually multiply above and below by the complex conjugate of that. So 4 plus 3i again here. Now this doesn't look way too different at all from all of the stuff that we've been looking at before. Um, and we can see here, I'm going to just rewrite it a little bit so it'll look a little bit nicer. So I have 3 plus 2i on the top line and it's going to be multiplied by 4 plus 3i. And on the bottom then I have 4 minus 3i all multiplied by 4 plus 3i. So that is actually the hard way, is setting it up correctly because now what we're going to do here on the top, we've got two things we're multiplying by each other. We're going to do box multiplication. We're going to work out the top line. Then we're going to do box multiplication on the bottom line and then we're going to bring our answers back together again. So going to do the top line first, so TL, top line. And it's 3 plus 2i multiplied by 4 plus 3i. So again, top and side, and I'm going to do a nice box multiplication here. So on the top, I have a 3 and a plus 2i, and on the side, I have a 4 and a plus 3i. So 4 times 3 is going to give me 12. 4 times 2i is going to give me 8i. 3 times 3 is 9. And 3 times 2i is, sorry, and that should be a 3i here, right? So let's go back again. 3 by 3i is going to give me 9i. And 3i by 2i is going to give me 6i squared. And then we say to ourselves, well, we know what actually happens with the i squared. We know that that is a rule and it goes to minus 1, which means 6 times minus 1, which means it's minus 6. So if it was to bring everything in this back bracket back together, so I have a 12 plus an 8i, plus a 9i, minus 6. And to just tidy that up a little bit, that's going to give me 6 plus 17i. So that's my top line. I'm now going to do the same with my bottom line. So my bottom line in this case was 4 minus 3i times 4 plus 3i. So 4 minus 3i times 4 plus 3i. Okay, so then I'm going to do my box multiplication again. And it's going to be 4 minus 3i and 4 plus 3i. So I want you to pause the video now here and I want you to work out this section. So hopefully you'll be looking at similar answers to what I have here. And you'll notice I have a plus 12i and a minus 12i. So they immediately will cancel. And so I have 16 minus 9 times again minus 1, which is 16 plus 9 which is going to give me 24. So I can now go back up to my question and I now know that from working out the top line here, I'm going to get 
6 plus 17i. And from working out the bottom line here, I'm going to get 24. And so when I divide 3 plus 2i divided by 4 minus 3i, my final answer is 16 plus 7i. 79. So again, what did I do first? Well, the step one was I found the complex conjugate of the bottom number. And step two, so I'll put a number one here. And then number two is I multiplied above and below by the complex conjugate. So at this point, then I just wrote this a little bit nicer. I just have the back to back brackets because I think once you see the back brackets, immediately you'll be brought then down to our um, box multiplication worked out the top line, worked out the bottom line, and then it becomes top over bottom. All right, so I'm gonna give you a few to try now. Okay, so for the learning check, then we have some examples here. We have five, all divided by three plus four i. So again, we're dividing complex numbers, and you're gonna focus on getting the complex conjugate of the bottom, and then multiplying above and below by it. And then this one's a little bit longer. Okay, so the first one is a little bit shorter because we have no imaginary part up here. Uh, and then this is very similar to the one we've just done. Okay, so once you finish those, um, you can have a look at the next activity as well.